Hello, hello, hello! Good morning, my name's Sam and welcome to my channel So Let's Sparkle with Sam. So today is Mother's Day. So if that is something you celebrate, happy Mother's Day. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, this is my this week's Friday sews on a Sunday. Um, I find it very difficult to do a Friday uh, because life just gets in the way. I fully intended to video this on Thursday. It didn't happen, so hello, happy Sunday. So what I am wearing today is, I am actually wearing my so, hashtag so yellow for endo entry, which I will be posting later this week. But if you're watching me, hello, welcome. And uh, you'll get a little sneak peek. So um, it's a lovely uh, viscose chalet from Minerva and all of the links are down below. Um, and a little black with a okra. So I think that counts as my yellow star, um, which is just very me. And I've just a little put a little shiny star button there on the fold. The pattern that I've used is I've hacked um, a pattern from the dressmaker's closet. Um, and it's the Ava blouse, um, um, but I've kind of um, changed the sleeves a little bit lighter. I've used the Ava blouse and the Nell pattern to kind of get a bit more of a poofy sleeve that I like. Um, and I've not put the pussy bow or the ties on. Um, what I've done, I've just stopped it slightly higher up than the pattern suggests. And I've just left it as like a little open keyhole. Um, because I kind of like that style of shirt. So yeah, I'll pop a picture up um, so you can kind of see the full outfit. And the reason I'm a little bit more glam than the normal, <laughs> you're welcome, is that um, it is Mother's Day today and my lovely family are taking me out for lunch. And then later we're going to go to a little place called the Dice Box and we're going to drink tea, eat cake and play games. So um, I'm really looking forward to that. That's kind of our thing. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I thought I'd dress up for the occasion. And all of my family know how much I love stars. So I thought if I wore a starry shirt, everyone would know it was me. So <laughs> they all know it's me anyway, because they'll be able to hear me. But um, yeah, so that's what I am. That's what I'm up to today. Um, and that's why, uh, hence the the starry shirt. So, so yeah. So what have I been up to this week? I have on Thursday, I went to the lovely Karen, um, little sewing social, Karen from at so little time. Don't know why that didn't come to me then. Um, and I believe that she has had a, a lovely weekend. Um, she has been at the sewing for pleasure, uh, festival at, um, the NEC Birmingham. I was actually going to go to the, that show this week, um, but I ran out of time. <laughs> so, but I am going to the Stitch Festival next week. So that's very exciting, but I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Um, so yes, yeah, so at the Sewing Social, I took um, Grace, who is my son's, my eldest son's girlfriend Grace and um, she loves to sew and she took um, some jeans that she was trying to upcycle so she had um, a few pairs of black skinny jeans um, and she doesn't find skinny jeans comfortable anymore she didn't want to chuck them away um, she felt that if she donated them to a charity shop there isn't that many people buying skinny jeans anymore so she wanted to make them more wearable for herself so she basically cut out a panel she sacrificed one pair of skinny jeans to cut out the panels and she didn't mind where she cut them she actually ended up with one pair that had like a pocket in the panel and um, so she just cut the panels out of one pair and then trans transformed two pairs into like flared bottom um i don't i didn't manage to get any photos of the finished article but um but when i do i'll 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 get them and I'll I'll share them with you. So yeah, Grace Grace is great. She's her imagination is unstoppable. She's always great at kind of those transformation things. And I got on with my so frugal entry, um, which I will keep under wraps for now. So, but I'm doing quite well with my so frugal entries. I've now got two 
entries completed and I'll let you know my plans later that hopefully by the end I might have three um, entries completed so that's very exciting and yeah so the next thing I wanted to share with you is um, I've done a bit of fabric shopping this week um, so I've tried out a new fabric supplier um, it was actually a friend of mine on my whatsapp group um, someone was asking about uh, someone that does good quality jerseys and I was like oh I'm you know I'll kind of get on to that and she recommended this person and um, and so I just kind of hopped onto the website and had a look I ended up not buying all jersey in the end because she had just such lovely fabrics so it's called Simple Life Fabrics the lady that runs it's called Sarah you can find her over on Instagram at Sarah Simple Life UK and yeah and I got a little fabric haul and she also sent me a little card and a little personalised note which was really sweet and she also sent me a little a little bag a little pouchy bag which I find really useful because I make my own um face wipes and these little bags are great for washing them in because you can kind of like tie them up and then pop them in the wash or just put them in ready to go in the wash um so yeah so that will come in really helpful thank you very much Sarah so yeah I bought three different fabrics but I bought quite a lot of each of them because I'm hoping that I'm going to be making more either more than one thing out of them or dresses so so yeah so I'll share with you the first one so this is a lovely cotton gauze and it's got like a little leaf I've got a little bit of fluff on my table at the moment can you see like it's it's either a leaf or a feather however you feel for me it's going to be a leaf because I'm not really very keen on feathers and uh so yeah little double gauze in this lovely colour which I really like um it's just kind of for me it's one of my go-to kind of autumny colours and I think what I'd like to make out of this is one of two things. I'd either like to have a go at kind of hacking the sagebrush into a dress or I'll go with the indigo from Tilly and the Buttons and just make a dress. But I think I kind of, I think I might have a go and see what I can do with the sagebrush and see if I can, because I quite like the extra detail on the sagebrush. I found the sagebrush a really nice sew. I really want to have a go at making the sagebrush in a different type of fabric because I made it in a quite a heavy cotton last time. And although it was beautiful, it did give me a bit of kind of um, Joan Collins kind of poofy, you know, 80s shoulder pad kind of vibe, <laughs> if that's the thing. Um, and although I... I, you know, I rocked that, that was fine. Um, I think I'd like, I think if I made it in something softer, it would give me a softer and a different, and just a different look really. So, so that's the first one, which I love. Um, now this one just gives me kind of total 80s, 90s vibes. I'm pretty sure I had a couple of batwing tops in this exact fabric <laughs> and I love it I just absolutely love it I'm I love purple I'm a sucker for purples um I do love a circle um I'm very into kind of geometric shapes um on clothes so I just thought this is absolutely delightful it's a viscose jersey it's got quite good stretch in it um and uh, I think I got, I either got three and a half metres or I got four metres, I can't remember. Um, and I think I'm going to go for a, I, I think I'm going to try and make a batwing top. I'm going to, um, I've got a batwing top pattern, I think was a free pattern, I can't quite remember. Um, but I think it might have come with a magazine or something like that. And then I'm going to pop the nail, the, um, not the nail, the Vera from Forget Me Not Patterns. And I'm going to use the big cuff from that onto the back. I think that'll just look 
fabulous but that's not for now that's just like in the future that's my thinking at the moment um and then also um i'd quite like to make myself some kind of wrap dress um i've seen quite a few patterns and i've seen some on watching some of the so frugal videos i've seen some free patterns so i'm it's just something i'm gonna have a little look and a little think about but as i said the fabrics that i've bought aren't really for me to use straight away they are for me to replenish because i've actually gone through my stash quite a lot in the last couple of months so they're to replenish my stash and um and for me to kind of think about because this i wouldn't i mean i'd wear this in the summer i'm not really a summer and winter color girl i just wear i wear clothes all year round if they're comfortable i'll wear them um but i this is probably I'll probably end up making this closer to the winter time. But yeah, so that's that one, which I really love. And then I've left my favourite to last. Now, I when I saw this on the screen, I just totally, I, I totally and utterly fell in love with it. Um, normally, I go for quite bright colours and these are not at all bright colours but I just loved it. I just fell in love with it. And I fell in love with it so much that I bought five metres because I just decided that I wanted it all over my body. So, so yeah, and here it is. So I think this is just gorgeous. It's kind of like branches um, and it's quite difficult to see. I have put the link to the website, so hopefully you can have a look for yourself. Um, but it's kind of like got a purple and a green and a kind of beigey fawn and then a really dark navy or black. I think it might even be black background. And it's just like, it's like, you know, grown up ladies camouflage, isn't it? <laughs> My boys always used to love their camouflage jackets and stuff. And I just think this is giving me that kind of camouflage -y vibes. I just, I just loved it as soon as I saw it. And when it arrived, it just kind of lived up to all of my expectations because it's, it's got a really good stretch to it. It's also so gorgeously soft I just want if I wasn't wearing makeup I would be rubbing it against my face it is just absolutely gorgeous um and no I haven't I haven't really I've got plans to make I want to make something with it but I haven't really got plans of what I'm going to make because I didn't want to make plans I really want to think about this um I quite I think I want a bit of a statement dress out of it and then maybe a top or two um see what i can get out of it but i just i just love it it is just beautiful so thank you very much sarah for those oh and the, the, the it came super speedy as well the um it, the delivery was great so the whole the shopping experience was great the fabrics were great so yeah so that was that was uh kind of fabric haul number one and fabric haul number two is actually from the shop that I work at. So we, uh, I work for Carolyn Rose and we are prim primarily, we're a sewing school, but we have a very small fabric shop um, in Leamington Spa. And uh, the the kind of sewing school, school workshop is underneath and the little shop is, is on top. And um, we had a big, big delivery of fabrics this week so they the ones that i'm going to show you aren't actually on the website yet because um it's mine and my <laughs> another person's job to pop them on the website and we just we haven't done it as yet um because we were very busy taking photographs and kind of organizing all of the bits and pieces for them but so i'm going to show you a bit of a sneak peek but i will put a link to the website so bit later on in the week or if you're watching this a bit later then um, you might find that the the fabrics pop up onto the website um but yeah I, they were just ones that I couldn't resist so the first one <clears throat> is this beautiful I think it I think it's a cotton lawn or it might actually be no this one sorry that one's got it's a cotton linen mix 
and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's giving me kind of Andy Pandy in the springtime vibes. Um, and this I just want to make into a pretty little summer top, some kind of uh, strappy peplum top, maybe something like that. I just got a terrible shock. A pigeon just came and almost crashed into my window. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> That's what you get when you film looking straight out of a window. <laughs> oh. oh, there we go. So there's that one. The next one is this lovely Dobby cotton with, can you see these lovely little cotton threads through? It's quite fine, but it will be great for summer. Not, it's not too see-through um, and again um, I've just got a meter of this and I would just like to make a little a little pretty summer top to wear in the summer and I've actually got a top with these colors on um, but it's a printed cotton um, and the in all of the colours, it's white, and all of the colours are just circles but I've had it, I've probably had it for about I don't know, 10, 15 years. And I love it. It's my go-to summer top, but it, it is looking it's 10, 15 years now. So I've kind of bought this to to replace to replace that one. Um so yeah, so I'm not quite sure what top I'll make, but you know. Um and then last but by no means least is this gorgeous viscose. And it's got like, I don't know whether you can see this. I'm going to bring it right up. Can you see it's got a little gold flex in, which are just absolutely stunning. Um, so, yeah, and I, I'm, I was drawn to this because of my Beyond the Pink Door subscription box that I got. And again, it was the same. It's the same type of fabric with the same type of gold detail in and it was the green one um and i really really love that um and but i just love the colors in this one um and i really enjoyed the the other fabric so i thought do you know what this is going to be a really nice one to use so yeah so i've got um a meter and a half i think of this one um and i have actually bought a pattern this week um i decided to buy a pattern this week because obviously with the so frugal challenge um and also if you follow me on facebook you'll notice that this month i have been putting every single day in march i have been putting a link into a free pattern not all garments <clears throat> excuse me not all garments um some of them handbags pouches um dog coats <laughs> all sorts of things but also dresses skirts trousers um that kind of thing as well um garments as well and i've just been putting up a link to a free pattern and because i've been encouraging lots of people to buy to use the free patterns which of course is fabulous i thought actually i'm going to support a small independent pattern maker and i'm going to buy a pattern because you know we want all of these pattern makers to carry on and be there and so you know we have to support them so i decided um i got a i got an email through from tammy handmade who have only recently signed up to a newsletter because of a free pattern um and she has a, released a new pattern i'll pop a picture up of it up here and it's called the amelia skirt i used to wear these a lot and my dad used to refer to them as a hippie skirt <laughs> And so, are you wearing your hippie skirt today? Is what he would say. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm I quite fancy, I quite fancy a, a new hippie skirt. So yeah, like it's a three tiered layer skirt, and I thought that this fabric would look, it would look absolutely fabulous in this. So that's the plan for that. And also, I have got some fabric in my stash that my daughter chose last year. Um, and I'm going to show her the Amelia pattern as well. And I think that she might decide that she would like me to make up that fabric in that pattern as well. So 
so yeah oh I've been quite busy this week haven't I with my, my fabric purchases so so yeah so I have um I've done a bit of sewing I've done a bit of fabric hauling so tomorrow my job is to wash it all and put it all away but I've also got some plans this week for some sewing so I'll share those with you so one of the things, um, as I said earlier, is I am doing the Sew Frugal Challenge. So I have sent the pattern off to, um, I sent these ones off to Flamingo Patterns uh, prints to have it printed. And it is the Libby skirt. Oh, <laughs> that isn't the front. Sorry, it's, I'll put a picture up of it here. Um, it's the Libby A-line skirt from Tasuti. Can you say it, Tasuti? Tasuti, Tasuti, I like that word. Tasuti fabrics. Um, and it's the Libby skirt, and I'll pop a picture of it over here. It's one of the ones that I have shared on my Facebook page. Excuse me, I'm going to have a slurp of my tea. I feel like I've been talking a lot. I can feel my voice going. That's better. <laughs> so I'm going to have a go at the Libby A line skirt. And I thought to make it properly frugal is I'm going to use over, use some leftover fabric that I had from a previous challenge. So when I very first started vlogging, um, I did a challenge where we had to recycle something. So something, something that was, we had to repurpose and recycle something. So I used this I had two curtains. I used one of the curtains to make a little dress and I'll pop a picture up for a little girl. And I had the other curtain left and I fully intended to make it into a couple of more dresses, but I never did. But I thought this fabric, I just found this the other day and I thought this fabric would absolutely look super smashing great in the Libby A-line skirt pattern. So that's my plan for this week is that I'm going to hopefully turn this curtain into a lovely Libby A-line skirt. Um, so yeah, so that's that's my plans number one. And then the other thing that I'd quite like to get sewn up, um, this is a bit boring, so I'm just showing you a plastic wallet, but, the, um, but I've cut out um, an indigo, Tilly and the Buttons indigo, um, in the Beyond the Pink Door fabric that I was talking about earlier. I'll pop a picture up of it here. And um, I've, it's all cut out and ready to go. So it'll be my nice, easy sew tomorrow while I'm waiting for all my fabrics to be washed and dried. So I'll be sewing while I'm going up and down to the washing machine tomorrow. So yeah, so that's basically my plans. One more plan for next week is that I'm going to go to the Stitch Festival, which I am so excited about. I've got my train tickets, I've got my show tickets, and I've even managed to set up a meetup with the lovely Catherine from Soverton Makery. Um, I love watching Catherine and I love chatting to Catherine and we've kind of kind of got a, a bit of bit, we've been chatting a little bit online and it's just been really nice and I can't wait to meet her so that will be really nice um so if you're going to the stitch festival let me know and uh, I'm going on the Sunday I work Friday and Saturday I'm going on the Sunday so if you are going on the Sunday I will see you there so yes oh I've kept you for a very long time today that's not like me for my Friday so they're normally quite short and sweet but if you have enjoyed this video and if you'd like to find out what I'm getting up to in the future, then please like and subscribe and you'll get notified when I post my next video. In the meantime, don't forget to sparkle. Happy sewing and I'll see you really soon. Bye for now.